Committee for Anthony, our colleagues, and uh, representative of uh, Tan Pharma, and uh, patients who came to attend this campaign. So my today I'm very happy because I'm a physician and we are doctors who treat patients with diabetes. If a patient presents with complication of diabetes, uh, that's we call it like nightmare. We don't want a diabetic patient to present with complication. Uh, Dr. Munchok talked about symptoms of diabetes, but for us, we don't want someone to become symptomatic. We want to diagnose diabetes before developing symptoms. So this issue of polyuria, 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 yes, we don't want uh, our patient to present with symptoms. We want to treat diabetes. Patients who are no symptoms. Uh, like some of So, why we want to detect patients early? Because we don't want complication to present with kidney failure, to present with heart failure, and a stroke or blindness, as one of the patients mentioned here. So, we don't want our patients to present late. We want them to be detected early and then to avoid complications with diabetes. So it's good. We are we are happy with this campaign and with uh, Tani Pharma for this initiative. And um, like our patients, some of them actually can't afford. It's very it's very hard here in South Sudan to do follow up regular follow up for diabetes because it's very expensive if you want to request to check for random blood sugar. It's very expensive. It's good if you have this group meter to check it at home, you can monitor it. But people have problem with doing investigation follow-up, even they cannot buy medicine, especially insulin, which is very expensive. And uh, some of our patients, they lose their, their life because they can't afford. If you can't afford and you are a case of diabetic ketoacidosis, yeah, at the end of the day, you will die. So that's one of our pro problems is screening and um, uh, medicine which are used for diabetes. Uh, I've noticed something like uh, screening for lipid or lipid analyzer and ketone. I don't know if these new arrivals, they arrived here in Juba or not yet because we are very happy when we manage cases of diabetic ketoacidosis, we only check uh, urine for ketone. Here in South Sudan, we don't have any lab who, who, who can detect ketone in the blood, which is now in the West or everywhere, they don't use, they don't check for ketone in the urine, they check it in the blood. So I don't know if, if, if this a new arrival they are available here in South Sudan. We are very happy about this. We are happy also about this lipid analyzer. Yeah, because when uh, discover when we discover diabetic patient, we look for other risk factors like lipid profile and all this. So I can see an analyzer of lipid. At the same time, we check the blood glucose. So, yeah, this is the happiest day of my life. I'm very happy today. And uh, hope, hope that they are affordable so that our patient can uh, do regular follow-up for their blood sugar and uh, lipid profile. Yeah, I would like to thank you again. Uh, our job is we don't want to see any patient with symptoms. We don't we want to... to diagnose pre-diabetes, okay? Even if the blood sugar, like, uh, if you find a blood sugar between 100 and 125 for the insulin resistance, and uh, with somewhat like exercise and dietary control, you can prevent development of diabetes. So it's good for now to screen to know your status if you are pre-diabetic. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.